Here's a mojito fruit salsa recipe. start off today with a sharp knife cut board in a bowl and we're going to grab one fresh mango and we're going to peel it. We'll take off all the skin. Once we take the skin off there is a pit located in the center. It's a flat pit so we want to cut around it. And Once we take all the meat off the mango then we're going to trim it up and we're going to medium dice it. Now when selecting a mango you want to make sure you get one that is a little firm but has a squish to it because you want it to be ripe. Then I'm going to grab a dragon fruit. Now this is a golden dragon fruit. I find it to be sweeter than the reddish uh, dragon fruit. Uh, so this one I'm cutting a little piece there for garnish later and setting it aside. The rest I'm dicing up and putting into the bowl. Now we're adding five strawberries. I'm just going to take the tops off and I'm going to trim up, dice them, pop them in the bowl. And I'm going to add a quarter cup of blueberries and a quarter cup of gooseberries. I like to trim up the gooseberries a little bit before adding them to the bowl. Now I'm going to take a lime. I'll cut a garnish. I'll take one third of the lime and I'll juice it over the fruit. And I'll take four mint leaves and I'm going to mince the mint up. I'm going to actually set that aside in a separate container for later on. In a saute pan, I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar and a half cup of soda water. I'm going to take one third of a lime and I'm going to juice it over the top. When you add the soda water, make sure you pour it around the edge so you get all the sugar crystals away from the edge of the pan because a few sugar crystals can make the whole pan recrystallize. Now I'm cooking this on medium to high heat. Now the trick to this recipe is we're trying to keep the liquid clear. If you overcook it, it's going to start to turn amber. So you want to watch it closely and once it becomes thick and covers the spoon, you want to add one and a half ounces of rum. Now make sure you turn the flame off before you add the rum. I usually use a nice coconut rum. Once it's done, I add the chopped up mint, I give it a little stir, I add half the liquid to the fruit, stir it all up, and then I reserve the other half of the liquid to use as a sauce for other dishes. Now you can serve this fruit in a uh, martini glass or a margarita glass, or you can put it on a plate with some fish, chicken, or beef. It goes well with all of those choices. Thank you for watching my video, and if you enjoyed my video and you want to see more videos, please subscribe and click the bell. And also remember to check the description for a list of products and supplies used in making the video. Thanks again.